Hello everyone, this is Pedro from Pythalista with one more video. So last video I talked about um, Azure blob triggers and there's another one that's a very useful one which is queue storage because sometimes you just wanted to send a message to another process. The advantage of using the file trigger is that you have you can use the file that you're gonna do something with the file and, this, and then save somewhere or delete the file but sometimes you wanted to just send a message let's say you have a scenario where you have an app where you wanted to send an email to someone and send an email usually is a task that takes a while because it goes over the network and then if you wanted to just uh, have that asynchronous function on your web app where it sends to a queue that an email needs to be sent to someone and then the queue on the background process um, that's probably a good scenario to use queue storage a queue storage trigger for functions and here's the code and then i'm just gonna quickly write a function using the azure function vs code template and then run it and test it and you're gonna send some messages and see how it works and also I'm just going to show a bug that there is and it's very important that if you are going to write messages using Python to the Azure storage queue, you have to be careful on how you encode this message and it will go into the detail with a demo. A Linux terminal, my Windows machine using WSL, I have Python installed, I have um, VS Code and I also have Azure Function 2 version 4 and that's all the prerequisites if you want to know more details about azure functions i have a good video about explaining you how to get started so on this demo i'm just going to focus on azure storage queue trigger azure function queue trigger so let's um create a, a new project here so And then to create a new function is pretty simple. You need to have the Azure um, extension for VS Code. And then you click that little lightning bolt here. And then you just click uh, create new project. So that's the director I'm using. I'm using Python and I'm doing V2, which is the recommended one. And I'm using 3.10. Uh, Q trigger. So, so just gonna call Q trigger. My Q is gonna be my Q. I'm just gonna change that later in the connection string. So, um, you have to go on your storage account. So, I'm gonna pause the video. So, because I'm gonna use credentials. So, you're gonna create some, uh, environment variables here so you're gonna call it so that's the connection string it's not the account key which are two different things so you're gonna need to have that as an environment variable and then you're gonna just put the uh, whatever it is that's the format it's just like and then what's this gonna do it so i'm just gonna write some message this on this azure queue here so so the way uh the v2 works is you i have a decorator that i tell what that function is gonna be it's gonna be a queue trigger so as you uh, uh, azure queue um that thing here which is gonna be the object that i'm gonna pass to this other function here which it, I annotate with the class that that's going to represent that I'll have those methods here like get body and the code. So what I'm going to do here is what this function does is whenever there is a um, message arriving at this queue here and for that I do need a Azure account. I'm just going to that one there. So you if you go in queues. So I have a a uh, queue that I created called emails to send. So that's the one that I'm gonna put here, my queue name. And then that's it. So now I can just run the functions by pressing 
f5 and i'm just now running locally um i'm not using i'm just connect to a storage account that i have i'm just gonna to this one doesn't matter just any storage account that you have there oops i need to, i forgot to put my connection string that's why i'm gonna pause the video now and put the connection string which is that one if i go to access key so the connection string is this one i'm just gonna pause now good so i paste it here so i need to be here f5 i think now it's are gonna be blue no reds yeah now if i go to my now if i go to my storage in my queue and then i'm just gonna first manually add a message here I'm just gonna split that into two if i manually add a message and can you see here encode the message body in base 64 that needs to be ticked otherwise this is not going to work i'm just gonna put light test and then that's gonna pick the message read decode that utf and and log that message there we go it's working beautiful and if i refresh here the message has been consumed by the service now what i'm gonna do now i'm just have another python I have another python code here where i'm just now not manually um writing that message but i'm using python to it and if i go in the documentation here there is a library is this one here this documentation pretty much not very good so but the one that i'm talking about is this one azure storage queue python library and the demo uh, you need to create this queue client so that's how you initialize uh your client you just need the there there are various ways to authenticate the one that i'm doing i'm using the account string the connection string so but once you once you initialize this client you have lots of methods so um you can like send message delete queue uh, receive message send message but it doesn't tell much about how you should do it so it's just like it takes up talks about uh, the base 64 but it's not clear how to do it they say that uh, in order to send a message you you need these um queue clients and then you just send a message which it works if you do it so let's do it here so i have side by side here on my left i have my function and on the right i'm having the code that i'm going to write to that function so i'm going to restart the function now and then if i see my queue there is nothing there so if, and if this one is ready to receive uh, messages so if i run that code so that i'm gonna have this message here my message was consumed and it was sent to this um to this poison because the message probably had that error here and the, it, this is a problem with um this is a bug and it hasn't been fixed by microsoft uh, i've wrote a um, post here on the forum and the solution i end up finding in stack overflow here i'll give the credit to this person and the error is that uh you need to encode it properly so that message got written but was not consumed because the encoding was incorrect and the solution is here on that um answer that i provided to azure function um learn so and then the way you should do it 
is I'm just gonna delete that part here. I'm just left at the bottom here. You need to set up the um, this binary encoding and decoding. So you can initial, initialize the Q client as before, and then you just have those properties. So for encode and decoding. And once you set up that, so you write your message as normal, and then you turn, this is like a dictionary. I dump that as a string first, and then I encode using UTF-8. And then when you send the message, you need to wrap the message in bytes into this method called message encoding policy. So, and then you have the encode method. That's a kind of like a module. And then you have this um, encode here. And then you put content equals messaging bytes, which is that one here that you encoded first. And then that will work. So let's do it. Beautiful. And that's pretty much it. So just for fun to finalize the video, I'm gonna use a, a library that I like a lot, which is called Faker. So where you can create like fake names and everything. So I'm just gonna show you how it works. So I, have, I already have that installed. I'm just gonna add the importer here. Um, and then I have like an email message that I, would like to create and just bombard the server with lots of messages that you can see. So let me just stop this one first because I'm just going to show you the message arriving um, at the cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, initialize this faker, create like a fake email uh, and message. And I'm just going to print like sending. I'm just going to put the message. Uh, like the number, and then you can see if it's like I put plus one, and then because it's index one zero, and then I'm just doing the same same thing. So I'm just gonna write this uh, twenty messages first. So it's just like writing twenty messages very quickly, and then if I go to the queue, uh, not this one. So I've got like those twenty messages. And then if I write, uh, I start now my my queue, my function, that's gonna consume like 20 at once and those are just gonna disappear here. You're gonna see, yeah. So it's just gone. And then you can kind of like, let's say for example, you have your email server that you wanna just send those as they arrive and then your app can function without like having to um, have that backlog of emails um, like instead of like running it asynchronously you can run asynchronous on the background with the queue service that's a good use case but it's very important here that if you are using any language python or .NET or whatever sdk that you use it's very important that you have to encode correctly and that it's not just by using Python um, base 64 it will not work I just like spent a few uh, hours and then wrote that blog post here not blog post but the, that question and then that's when and then even the person that tried to answer the question like thought it was something else and then when I dug in, I found this solution here in Stack Overflow. All right, guys, thanks for watching. And then if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe, like the video. And if you have any questions, put it down in the comments below. Again, thanks for watching and see you next time.